why hello everyone i hope you are all having a great start to your day afternoon evening weekend whatever currently it is friday evening alex is about to do a quick little meeting he's looking after the two boys upstairs and i just thought i'd come down quickly because i've been asked just about microblading for a while um just from a few people and maybe just telling you guys about my journey i will be uploading uh my healing process of the current microblading I received, um, which has been amazing. Um, so I'm super excited for just that I've been kind of doing from day three on to currently it's day 14. I am a little bit oily in my T-zone. So the healing process has kind of been a little bit longer than average, shall I say? So just maybe first and foremost, why? Why microblading? And why was I kind of, how did I stumble upon it? Um, how did I stumble upon the the wonderful woman, um, Eyebrow Queen, who did my eyebrows? It has honestly been an amazing journey. So I'm gonna actually put in here a picture of my before and after. So kind of what I was before I even had microblading done. And I actually started, I was, I kind of was, fell into the whole cosmetology area in life really early on and always loved doing hair, loved like, all that pampering stuff, all the stuff that makes you feel great. Um, fell on, fell into that very early on. So in grade eight, I don't know how old I was, but grade eight, I remember going to my very first ever like salon and got my eyebrows waxed for the first time. So I've never plucked my eyebrows and didn't over pluck. My sister actually over plucked her eyebrows in the nineties. Um, so she's excited to get microblading done one day very soon, but never really plucked my eyebrows. Um, and so I got them waxed and then I kind of started working um, with in the, like in a salon and in the back was an esthetician and Rita used to do my eyebrows all the time and she would wax them and it was amazing. Um, and then I was introduced to getting them dyed and I was so cons like so cautious about doing that. Um, and I believe that was stumbled upon that probably when I was in my 20, early 20s to getting them dyed and I was like, okay. So I started getting them dyed and well waxed and dyed. And I would go basically every uh, every few months, I would get them dyed, it'd be dark brown with a splash of black, just because I like, I have really dark hair. My eyes are, well, I have dark hair naturally, like this is my natural tone, shall I say. <laughs> There's gray in there. Um, but my eyebrows are incredibly blonde. Like my hair on my arms, you can't even see it. I get asked if I'm like, if I ever wax, and it's like, nope, never wax them. It's just my hair is really blonde so my eyebrows are actually blonde so my body hair is blonde my eyebrows are really blonde so when I started getting dyed I fell in love with just how it transformed my face transformed what it what how I looked everything I know most of you who are actually probably all of you who, who are watching this it's like when you hear that your eyebrows frame your face it is like 100% true in my situation in like my life I think for everyone too but for me it was huge so i started getting them dyed and then i became addicted i wanted them dyed and i heard of microblading years ago very cautious didn't really know about it didn't know very much i think when i heard about it, i also heard about threading so i started threading my game my eyebrows threaded and then also getting them dyed on top of it and uh surrender who is an amazing like woman here in calgary she actually does my threading and does my dying of my eyebrows and she just started doing microblading probably a few years ago but she wasn't doing the combo like the that she was just doing the strokes and I knew I wanted the fill in like the very like bold brows since I've always had I've always desired to have bold brows and I always desired to never really dye them anymore shall I say and have just a beautiful framework so if I wanted to color them color them in I could so I've been kind of tossing around the idea of microblading them for a while and then I, on Instagram, just kind of stumbled upon uh, a woman from Okotoks, and she actually lives here currently, like in the same uh, community as I do. Amazing, browsed by um, Kara, and oh my gosh, she is amazing. And I hope I'm saying her name right. I hope it's Kara. If I'm, <laughs> part of me wants to say it's Sierra. I don't think it is, I think it's Kara. Um, so I apologize for all you people and even for you if you're watching Kara, if you're watching and you're like, mm, you're saying it wrong, Amy. So I apologize. Um, but I just 
when I stumbled upon her page, she is like a master, a master. And on top of it, I just love who she is as a person. And I don't know, there's, John Max always talks about the law of the buy-in, right? And he talks in, for that's like, you're going to do things that people want, they want to buy into you, you as who you are as a person. And I just honestly, I, how she does her Instagram, how she does her stories, who she is as a woman, and she just is truly authentically her. And I love that. I love, I think people who are authentically them and have, and have, and just own it, own who they are and are empowered. They just empower themselves every single day because they just know exactly who they are. But on top of it, they empower other women by being exactly who they are. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm all about women empowering women, people empowering people. I'm all about that. So when I stumbled upon her page, I sent her a message and been like, I was actually in the midst of breastfeeding. Um, or sorry, I was even, it was before I had Asher. So before May and I reached out to her and I said, Hey, I'm going to be breastfeeding probably for three months. That's another story for another day. I don't, breastfeeding isn't my forte. It's, it's good for three months for me. And I said, Hey, I'm going to be breastfeeding for three months. Would it be possible that we can book this, book this appointment? And so we booked it for, for November. And I was so flippin' pumped. And then COVID kind of came even down, restrictions came down. And I got into her before it was, I think it was like the last day of, of, I think it was November 1st, I saw her. And I got my first round, my first session. And it was, and I did the combo. So the microblading plus, um, I think it's called shading. Um, some people might, I don't know what other techniques are, but so the combo, which is the microblading, the lines, as well as the shading and got it done. And I was so excited. The pain was like nothing. Um, of course you felt it, but it wasn't anything crazy. And then on top of it, um, the whole recovery aspect, right? And I'll go into that in a little bit more detail, but like you have to like, basically you can't get your eyebrows wet for as long as they're healing. So for some people it's like 10 days or less than 10 days. Some people it's like three weeks. For Kara, it was like three weeks she showed me. And for me, it's like, it's day 14 and they're still like flaking. So they're not fully healed yet. So I'm like, so the whole process, you can't get them wet. So like washing your hair is kind of like, you have to do it very, very, like washing your hair, washing your face, can't like go in hot tub, can't go in the pool. Like there's just lots of things because again, it's open, right? You want it to heal well and not get any like stuff in it, right? So all that stuff, the healing aspect, I was kind of scared and nervous about, but I totally succeeded. <laughs> it was, everything was good. Um, but we booked coming out of that, like that day, we booked for the second round because usually they, they recommend like a year, like a year touch up or six months, eight months, whatever it is, touch up. And she just knew me. She knew I liked a bold brow and she's like, come back in a month. And so we booked it. So we, I went back December 5th and we did the same thing. And oh my gosh, um, first and foremost, she said my color retention was great, which is so good to hear, honestly. With someone that is new to like oily skin, my my hormones are still balancing out. Asher's only seven months old. Um, so I have a really oily skin currently. Um, I'm usually dry normal. So currently I'm really oily. And um, so to hear like your, your color retention is good with oily skin, I was ecstatic to hear. Um, I did a lot of research prior to getting my microblading done and like on YouTube, kind of like this, like watching YouTube videos and being like, what was their experience? How did they enjoy it? What did it look like? All that stuff. Right. And what was like before and after I was ecstatic. I was so excited to learn because I, again, wanted to know if I was doing the right thing for me. Cause it is an investment. It is like, um, it is an investment compared to getting them threaded every, every other month or getting them dyed every other month, right? It's an, it's kind of a, a lump sum investment, um, but I'm not going to lie. It was so worth it. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with them. Um, I will still have to get them dyed or just because I have very blonde hair and, um, they'll just have to dye. I probably won't have to get them dyed every single time or every single month or every other month. But just if I'm going out or if I don't want to color them in or maybe for summer, get them dyed um, just so I don't have to have that product on them all the time. But I wanted a framework that I can actually use. So a framework of like what my eyebrow looks like, what's the best shape of them, because I'm not really good with shaping. And I'm just, 
over the moon excited for what has what they are and it's so funny because I come to show my parents and my dad like before and after and he's like your eyebrows are that light and my mom said the same thing and I I'm just so happy that I've that I took the leap right so the reason why I'm making this video is for those of you who are interested in microblading and they don't really know they're kind of on the ropes like why would they ever do it um, I'm honestly encouraging you guys to do it. If it's worth the investment for me, it was totally worth it. And now I go every every year to get a touch up and I'm excited to maybe potentially get a more bolder brow than I did last year or than I currently did. Um, but it's so cool when you find someone that is a master at what they do and they continue to get better um, at microblading. She is honestly amazing. So I'll link her, her Instagram below um, for if any of you guys are in this area in the calgary area or alberta area i know they have lots of people actually from from all over the world have come to see them um come to see her specifically so yeah i'll link their information below if you guys are intrigued and interested to know more so if you have any questions let us know but honestly this whole journey um of just discovering what microblading is and on top of it getting it done it has been amazing i'm so excited so i'm excited to share the whole journey of recovery, of what it looks like, the process of healing. And yeah, it's awesome. So hope you guys are having a great night and we'll see you later.